daddies and welcome to 12 days of vlogmas shop real rose y'all this dress is from real rose you'll get it just in time for christmas because i ship everything out the day i get the orders okay i don't play that i don't play that i don't play that hey boo hi uh, let me see your face who are you talking to Sherman? Is that Cherm? Yeah, that's Cherm. What the heck? That's crazy. So I call my mom. Jennifer shows up at my mom's house while I'm on the phone with my mom. And then my sister calls Jennifer at, while Jennifer gets to my mom's house. That's crazy. Oh it's Inception. Oh, you were talking. You, she was talking to my mom. Then she called Jennifer first and then me. That's crazy. Look at Jennifer's face. <laughs> Choma told, told me to come here. Oh. I mean, I've been on the phone with Choma for like two hours. Oh, okay. What was y'all talking about? Hey. Ooh, girl, you want, you want to go to Fallas? You know Fallas? Yeah, they're going out of sale. They're going out of business, huh? Girl, let me tell you. I just bought a $1,000 Fallas. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye
I can't get a child, if I can't get a grandchild by this time, that means I'm not gonna be able to see my great grandchild. You know. Oh. So, so Who's trying to give me a baby for my mom? Can somebody give me a baby so my mom can have a grandbaby? That just puts so much pressure in my brain right now. So pretty much, hold on, I'm on the vlog. Cause I'm, she's lecturing me right now because I said on Facebook, hold on. I said on Facebook that I could, I was like, I need therapy because I can't see myself loving a man, right? And she was like, I shouldn't have said that because like you should be able to deal with guys. And she always tries to say, say this cause she has too good of a heart. And I say it all the time, your heart is too good, but no, I will not settle. But if it's the case that you just want a grandbaby, I could find somebody that will give me a child, sign the contract. I would say, sign this contract. This baby is not for you. It's for me and my mom. <laughs> you are so silly. But I definitely will never, I definitely will never, never, ever, ever, ever settle for 70%, mama. Okay? Chica said, Chica said he will settle for 50%, but that's because Chica's an asshole. You understand? Oh, shut up. Don't say that. Chica is mean. Like, and I don't think his personality could ever be like tolerated from a lot of people. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why he's willing to settle. Not only that, he's 30 something. <laughs> he's 30 something. You know what I'm saying? So when I get to 30 something, then I'll drop my expectations down to 70%. But as for now, for a woman, for a man, it's different. You need to be at a certain place in your life by the age of Chica. For a woman, all you have to do is look good by that age. You know what I mean? And I'm on my track to looking good. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure I look good all the way up until 40. So that way, if I want something, I can get it. I mean, look at your sister. She wasn't willing to settle. She's enjoying her life. That's what I'm trying to be on. Yeah, but, but, that, but is, that a, is that a good life now? Okay, she's uh, so 40. No, she's 50 already. I think she's 51 this year. Okay, look at she, Oh, she's fi her sister is 51, but she looks like 30. Tops. Tops. Right. That's because she doesn't have yeah, to deal with men. Yeah, she turned 50 last year. When I, when I 50. Went, okay, if you like, see my auntie, go ahead, finish. Yesterday. She, she had her birthday was yesterday. <gasps> I missed okay. it. Let me go tell her happy birthday. So we, she said we, 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 we're going to be meeting at Bowling Alley, the one on uh, First Street. So 50. I just was there. I stayed, I stayed around 9 o'clock. Looked around old. everywhere. Could I say, what do you mean? I don't know. 50. Isn't she supposed to be here after eight? She said. She said, I don't know. She, then he said, Oh, I have a party. Also. I will have a party. I said, That's me, Sha. Yeah. So that's, those are the things that you get. Well, sometimes men see a woman that drinks like that, they're not interested. You know, it's like, I think Who cares? No one cares. At the end of the day, we only have one life to live. We need to stop living it for a man. We need to stop living it for a man because these men aren't doing what are they doing most of them can't auntie drama is well off she's a she owns properties she doesn't what is the only thing a woman needs a man for is to protect and to provide and most men that look good who have a common sense who are in the age range that i need them to be in who will be able to be educated enough to teach and raise my children they aren't financially stable they cannot physically, they physically cannot protect me. So why the, what? No, I'm not settling for you. If you, your only two roles is to protect and to, to provide. And you can't do those two things. I'm not settling for you. No, I could do it for myself. I'm not about to have to deal with your emotions and I'm have to deal with your time frame and picking you up from here or we have to go here or like, you know, it's just having to take somebody else's burdens into my life as a woman who already has her own burdens as a black woman in America who already has her own burdens and I have to go and pick up another man's burdens and put it on my back. What the fuck do I look like? That's the reason why black women are so masculine because we're taking up what's we're we have to turn into the men for our men. Meanwhile, white girls will do whatever the fuck they want their whole entire life. Right? And when it's time to settle down, the man steps up to the plate and he takes care of his woman, stay at home mom. Uh, if she wants to open up a business, she can. He knows his only role is to protect and to provide for her. And that's all that matters. They have, a, they need to have a connection. Obviously, everybody knows that. You need to have a connection. You have to love each other. You have to respect one another. But the only two main roles that are specific to gender are to protect and to provide. And as for a woman, it's to nurture and to fucking procreate, to build a family. 
and nurture that family. And that's what's messed up with our boys, the way that we raise them. You raise them. You raise them. <laughs> you raise them. You said the way we raise them, so you you raise them too. <laughs> the way you raise that's I if I raise my kids, they're not gonna have that problem. When I raise because I see I see what happened, you know what I mean. You raise them as like boys, you know, but that doesn't work in America. That works in Nigeria when the boys have land and they have um, property and stuff like that. In America, they don't have shit. They have to work the same way that the girls have to work. So now they're on the same playing field. They can't compete. Because they don't have any land, they don't have any resources, they don't have anything. So why do you feel like, oh, I'm the man and I need to be respected when you don't have shit to offer? <sighs> I'm just telling you, it's a whole different world we're living in now. But let me shout my auntie out and tell her happy birthday with her old self. Oh, old, <laughs> old cute self. Well, i talk to you later. All right. Just stay strong and be nice. Be good. Be good? Try to be nice. I'll try. Mm. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, love, love you. you. Love you. My mommy. I love her. She be trying to give me advice because she see me on Facebook going ham on these motherfuckers. And she be like, girl, why are you over here cussing everybody? Just take it easy. If you if if people see you acting like that, they're not going to want... I'm like, there's not one man on my Facebook that I would ever imagine marrying. So I'm not really tripping about that. My husband don't even have social media. Because <laughs> my husband has social media. Like she said, he ain't marrying me because I get my point across. <laughs> Bitch, I haven't put on clothes all day long. Did I eat anything today? Oh, yeah. I ate cereal this morning. Yeah, I ain't really did nothing. I've been catching up with my family, my friends. You know, you got to keep in contact. I noticed that that's important. Very important. So that's what I've been doing. I need to get up Walmart. I don't have any groceries. I thought I had a booger in my nose, but no. I just have white nostrils on the inside. I haven't had food in my fridge for a very long time. And you guys know because you've been watching me every day. Creep. I've been doing a lot of eating out and that's just not cute. It's just not cutting it. Not only that, you could probably see my nakedness in my shadow, huh? <laughs> Thank God it's not a mirror. Look at my inventory room. Look at all the shipping stuff and it just gets really crazy in here. So, um, I need to come back in here and, um, reorganize or not organize it's I keep it pretty organized but I need everything to be perfect you know it makes it it helps my sanity but anyways um also I need to do inventory and stuff like that so I think I'm gonna do that later when I come back home from the grocery store after I finish editing yesterday's vlog and upload it you guys know I haven't caught up on vlogs like on regular vlogs so I'm gonna catch up within the next week or so and then um yeah, we'll be all the way caught up because then we'll be just doing daily vlogs. So don't get confused when I upload a vlog that says number 22 or 23 or 24. We have vlogs up until number 24, I believe. And then after that, everything else is going to be Vlogmas. So right now, I'm gonna, right now, 22 is exporting. So I'm going to go to the grocery store while it's exporting because that takes a lot of time. And I'm going to get a whole bunch of stuff that I need. So what I'm doing right now is just kind of walking around the house. Who else does this? See what you need. Is walk around, see what you need, write it down. Do I need toilet paper? Oh, I need face cloths, you see? That's what you gotta do, you guys. Life hacks, adult life hacks. <laughs> I like face towels, especially the ones from Walmart. They're really cheap and they're sanitary. So I like the aspect of having towels that I can just use on anything, use to clean a counter, use on my face, use on my body. And then when they get dirty, which the ones from Walmart, they get dirty pretty fast. You can get more expensive ones that last a little longer, but I don't expect to keep them for that long. Then I just throw them away. <laughs> and then go buy more. It's like a pack of 18 for $1.88 or something like that. So now I'm just doing my runs around the house trying to figure out what I need. I'm gonna put on some clothes. Oh, did you see me in the mirror? I'm always scared that y'all saw me in the mirror. But I'm gonna put on some clothes and then I'll pick y'all up when I'm at Walmart or something. I found this outfit really quick, so I wanted to show you guys. It's really cute. This top I think I got from Burlington, it was cheap. The jeans I got from Charlotte Russe, they were cheap too. But it was like during like a sale or something, I can't remember. But they're super cute. You can see like the distressing on them and stuff. And these are my Payless shoes that I've been wearing ever since the day I got them. Like, I've not put them down. But I just wanted to show you guys. 
I'm not wearing a bra. I don't think I should. I want to. I mean, I want to because, you know, I'm a lady. <laughs> not really, sometimes. But I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. It's, it's restrictive. It was restricting. It gives me back problems. It hurts my back. I'm going to throw my wig on. Get the hell out of here. So, I went on Instagram and I asked, going to Walmart, you want something? And nobody's responded except for Damo Love. And she said, yes, a onesie. So I asked her what one. She said a Christmas one. I said what size? She said large. There's this pink one, but they're all an extra large. So I think I'm gonna get her this one because she just said I like the pink one. So yeah, this one looks really comfortable. I should get one too, shit, low key. Actually, maybe I will. We're gonna get two of those. So me and my baby daddy can match. <laughs> Wait, that's a medium. I wonder if she could wear a medium. No large though. I'm gonna ask her medium or extra large. Walmart never has this amount of bananas and they definitely ain't never this chunky. These are some fat bananas. They heavy and everything. Shit. You could fucking use that as a dildo. That's how good those bananas are. <laughs> Thought they were one something, but I guess they're like three something. But that's cool. That's still good. That's the price of one face towel. So you're 18. Oh, right under 100. <laughs> I got all the Christmas gifts done. Thank you. You don't have a card? Huh? No. Card? Yeah. I, I'll be able to grab it. That's how I'll be able to. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> huh? Here. I give it to you. We are giving it quarter to customers. Oh, yeah. thanks. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry if I made you feel. Oh damn, I've been recording this whole time. That was cute of her. She didn't want me to give her give her the quarterback. She said, "No, no, no, take it. We're giving quarters to our customers. That's so cute, cute, so cute." And there was like an extra quarter in there, and so I, I was like, "Here." I handed her two quarters, and she was like, "Nah." But <laughs> I'm happy I'm doing these vlogs. You guys go to the 99 cent store. Go to the 99 cent store as we speak. I got these contour palettes. I'll show you when I get home. I'm gifting them to everybody. They're not a dollar, they're three dollars, but they're still a good price. You know what I mean? Three dollars is a good price for a contour palette. And it has like these pigmented ass, beautiful, bright colors. Um, highlight contour, and it's for dark skin. So if you're a black girl, or even if even if you're like um Mexican, Hispanic, let me be politically correct. Um yeah, go to the 99 cent store. I'll show you the palette when I get home because I'm definitely going to keep one or two for myself. But um, my friends are coming for Christmas, which I need to text them about. And I want to um, stuff their stockings. So I bought a whole bunch of like little knickknacks, some lips. I got some lip stuff from Maybelline. They had that at the 99 cent store. Too. I'm going to show y'all when I get home. I'm going to show y'all when I get home. Shut up. Ooh. Got some more ice. So I'm going to show you guys what I got from these two stores. We're going to get on the floor make it easier for everybody it's hot in here my heat was bumping while I was gone I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off this shit must have just finished exporting when I walked in because when I walked in it was still exporting but now it's done so I'm gonna upload this first first of all let me say that I did everything to make sure I left with this list and I didn't leave with it okay so bananas got that cherry tomatoes didn't get that lights face towels got that got to be glue didn't get that that was the whole reason why I left. Water, got that. Apples, got that. Chicken, got that. Sausage, got that. Sandwich meat, needle, ice, got that. So, all thing I didn't get was the thing that I went out to get, which was the got to be glue. We'll try again tomorrow. Anyways, here are the face towels. It comes in a pack of 18. I got white ones because I just like the clean, the way that white looks. But normally, I would use the colored ones. So I got colored ones. So I put the white ones up for guests and then I use the colored ones for myself and for cleaning and stuff. I got some bread, which I already took a big old chunk out of. I remember when I was younger, my mom used to grab bread from like Stater Brothers and it would be like this type of bread, you know, you know, and she would just bring it home. So like cut it up for us, put some butter on it. But like I said in my last vlog, like my auntie Chinyar makes bread, right? This bread ain't got shit on my Auntie Chinyar bread. If you live in the IE, you need to go to Home Pie Bakery and Cafe because everything she makes is fresh daily. And she tells me that she sells out around two. She's like, when I finish making everything, people come in. 
And she's like, when they come in, it sells out. Because she works, she, her restaurant is in like an industrial area where there's a lot of truck drivers and stuff. So, the truck drivers come and buy shit for everybody. You know truck drivers got money. <laughs> I got a bottle of wine. I got some sandwich meat. This is my favorite one. It's the honey smoked turkey. I got some salads. These ones were on sale for $2.86. So I got a bunch of those. I got like four of those. And I think this will help me a lot, like I said, throughout the week with eating. Instead of me like thinking like, oh, what can I buy that's close by? Here's the onesie that my baby daddy pretty much won by just responding to my, my Instagram. It was something reasonable that I knew I could ship. So I got it for her. It was only $20, so no big deal. Or $19.90 something. I got these crackers, because like I was saying, I was craving tuna, but I didn't have crackers. And I didn't want to make like a tuna sandwich, so I went ahead and got crackers. Powdered milk, neato. I used that with my oatmeal. Them fat ass bananas I was telling y'all about. These, these holes thick, boy. I got some facial moisturizer. I got some salsa. This is the moisturizer I got. I really like it. You guys should try it. It's the clean and clear dual action. I got some chicken. I like chicken thighs. I don't even remember the last time I bought anything other than boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This is my favorite type of meat to buy. For one, it's really cheap. And for two, it tastes the best. It has like that bounce, you know? Got some sausage. Got this type. And I got this type. This one is country style, smoked sausage. Fully cooked. Keep refrigerated. Then this one is Cajun style. I don't like, uh, and dually. And I got some carrots. And the last thing I got, I believe, are these Christmas lights. So, these Christmas lights are the continuation to the ones that me and Chris had already started. I was going to get two more packs, but then I was like, nah, if this isn't enough, then next year I'll buy another round. But that's cool. The 99 cent store, because I went, I was only in there for like 10 minutes, but I went ham. <laughs> First of all, they have this popcorn. This is my favorite popcorn. The sweet kettle cook, sweet and salty kettle corn. The boom chicka pop. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite popcorn. And they had it in a 99 cent store for 99 cents. You know how the 99 cent store sometimes sell things for more than 99 cents? No, they were 99 cents. So I went fucking hard. I bought a lot. I don't know how many I bought, but I know I bought a lot. And then I realized as I was checking out, some of them have more in the bag than others, as you can see. So if you're gonna go and buy these, just make sure you like check to see where the popcorn stops because you can get like a bag. Like I had one bag in my hand that was full all the way to the top. And I was like, damn, I fucked up. <laughs> but I was already at the front of the line so I wasn't trying to bother people. But yeah, let's see how many did I get. I bought that garlic and I could smell it and it's like fucking with my, um, whatchamacallit, my nose. This is gonna be good for when I have guests, you know? I'm like, you guys want some popcorn? 14 bags of popcorn. And if it didn't look like so much, I probably would have got more. I should have got like 25 bags. As a matter of fact, I might end up going back because I didn't get my water. I like to get gallon water so I know how much I'm drinking. And I didn't get those. I just got bottled water. So I got my spinach because spinach is expensive anywhere except for the 99 cent store. It's 99 cent store. It's 99 cents at the 99 cent store. So if you're buying spinach at anywhere else, just know it's cheaper at the 99 cent store. I got this already peeled garlic. I was telling my friend here about this that um, when I saw her cutting her garlic and she was stressing herself out trying to cut garlic, I was like, at the 99 cent store, they got a ready peeled garlic for you. So all you have to do is literally just mince it or however you want to use it. So I go ahead and buy that. You can smell it. It's like strong, okay? I got mushrooms because I want to make um, like a potato mushroom chicken soup and add some garlic and sausage in there too. Maybe some chicken, y'all. It might, shoot, it might turn into one of them things. I got some apples, these little tiny apples. I probably use like two of them in the morning to eat my yogurt and then also for my soup that I want to make which is pretty much like my meal prep it's gonna be what I'm gonna eat throughout the week I got some onions some green onions all right now I got all of these these things I used to only get them in LA I saw them at the 99 cent store so I bought a whole bunch those are gonna be some stocking stuffers um, I found a beanie and I don't have a beanie that I like wear currently so I went ahead and picked that up. It was 99 cents too. I got a whole bunch of other ones because I thought they were all 99 cents and I was going to use those to stop the stuff them stockings but um sh they were two dollars so I was like no need. So yeah put my beanie on. Who's texting me? Leave me alone. I'm sorry if I make you feel a little insecure. Yeah, I don't 
remember the last time I wore a beanie. I don't be outside that much. Then I got a whole bunch of these little cute purses. Like if you go into the club, I'm gonna keep this silver one though. Low key. But <laughs> if you go into the club and you wanna carry like a purse but you don't wanna have too much stuff, I have a blue one. Actually, I bought one of the blue ones. This is made out of real leather, or at least it looks like it's real leather. I could be mistaken. But it feels and looks like real leather. They're selling it for $1.99 at the 99 cent store. And you can literally put your wallet, gum, your phone, anything inside of here. And it's the perfect size. It's discreet. You don't have to carry your whole purse. So I thought that would be a really good stocking stuffer, especially if me and my girls decide to go out for Christmas Eve. Pink uh, and silver and blue. And I got four of those. I got five of them, but I think I'm going to keep one. Here's the candy bag. I got Skittles. Rice Krispies, I got the almond Snickers. I only got the shit that I like, so maybe people won't like it, but it's okay. And then I got um, Mambas, and these are gonna be what's gonna stuff. Um, this is gonna be the sweets that are gonna stuff the stockings for my friends. I hope none of them are watching, but I do know that Diamond watches my video, so I hope she doesn't watch. <laughs> then I got these Maybelline lip kits they're really cute they were two dollars i actually bought this for my mom when i was starting off her makeup lip kit and she loved it and she still has it her favorite one is the darkest color she always uses that and i was like that's the only color you use play around with the other colors so last time i was at her house i saw that she was like you could tell she was dipping in the other colors so yeah these are really cool i'm gonna keep one for myself as well because like i said i got it for my mom but i never used it 1.99 i bought too many of these i low-key feel like going back and getting more of these and doing a giveaway because what okay so these are contour palettes first of all look at the shades right so when I saw that on the outside I was like yeah right it's not gonna look like that on the inside so I opened it in the store and I didn't care who, who was watching how they felt none of that first of all look at this little packaging super cute you see how it's like metallic and like it has that rainbow little metallic effect nobody will know that this was two dollars or three dollars okay then when you open it look at those colors ha! Ha! <laughs> look at that contour bitch are you kidding me are you kidding me this is like perfect perfect for us brow bone under eye contour what's this this is under eye for somebody else or all over face right and then we got the two blushes, just perfect color. This is a more peachy blush. That is lit. I'm lit off of these. Like, let me show you guys how much popcorn I got. Look at all these popcorns. <laughs> so I cooked today on Instagram Live. So you guys might have missed it. Only about 14 of y'all was on there the whole time making me laugh, but it was fun. I made just some soup. We call it the um, potato surprise because I mixed regular potatoes with sweet potatoes so you don't know what piece of potato you're gonna eat it was a fun live if you guys haven't seen it and this video is up before the 24 hours go watch it because it was so much fun and it came out so bomb so yeah uh, that's what I ate for dinner now I'm about to go take a shower and get some dick I'm just kidding um no I'm not kidding I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll see you guys tomorrow I love you hope you have fun today I need to clean up. Damn, I almost left my house with the stove on. Well, I didn't almost leave my house. But I forgot that I was making the leftover potatoes in the oven. That's what they look like. They're supposed to be curry cayenne potatoes because I had extra potatoes. So I was like, what am I going to do with these? So I just decided to throw them in the oven and cook them. That's what they look like. Bomb. And they're going to be bomb. I already know. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm excited to eat those. And then I have some leftover chicken too, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm going to put it in the fridge and hopefully it's still good tomorrow and I'll cook it. But I started boiling one of them, so hopefully it doesn't get sick, that one that I started boiling.